My sermon this morning is based on a favorite psalm, number 103. I'm going to read the first part of Psalm 103, uh, verses 1 through 8. Uh, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. I've called this series of sermons Favorite Psalms for a Stressful Time, and Psalm 103 is a favorite of mine, and I think for other people as well. Biblical scholar James May's assessment of the psalm goes like this. It gives voice to the, it is a profoundly evangelical hymn. Evangelical means good news. It gives voice to the thankfulness of sinners that the Lord is a God of mercy and grace. In every age, the words of the psalm have been the means of remembering that the Lord is gracious. I've been drawn to this line toward the beginning of the psalm, do not forget. In the first part of this psalm, we're listening to someone talking to himself or to herself, uh, which is something we do all the time. We talk to ourselves. Uh, usually in the quietness of our own minds, but sometimes out loud. And this person is uh, telling himself to do something important. Bless the Lord. Do you ever write notes to yourself? I do, all the time. Here's someone who's saying, note to self, bless the Lord. A believer from long ago is writing himself a memo Bless the Lord. But in this case, he not only tells himself what to do, but what not to do. So as it were, he is tying a string around his finger that will remind him, don't forget. We do the same thing. Don't forget to go and buy bread. Um, do not forget is itself a testimony to something important about us as human beings. One of our greatest qualities as humans is the ability to remember. In his classic story of his own spiritual life, Confessions, the fourth century Christian leader, Augustine, reflects on his ability to remember. He says, the power of the memory is prodigious, my God. It is a vast, immeasurable sanctuary. Who can plumb its depths? And yet, it is a faculty of my soul. Our memory is an extremely important part of our lives. We take long and expensive trips, or at least we did before the current pandemic, to make lasting memories. On the other hand, it's heartbreaking, isn't it, to watch someone you know and love become forgetful uh, due to changes taking place in the brain. Now, this psalmist is not talking about dementia. He's talking about a forgetfulness that can affect any of us, regardless of age, regardless of brain chemistry, and that is forgetting the benefits that the Lord has granted us. So he tells himself, don't forget. I suspect there are external factors that make it harder for us to remember important matters. I suspect that there are are also seasons when it's just hard to remember significant things. What about a global pandemic? There are so many wide-ranging repercussions. There are so many unanswered questions. I wonder, does it affect our ability to remember? Maybe we need a reminder today of the things that Psalm 103 reviews. So the psalmist tells himself, do not forget all his benefits.
all the Lord's benefits. And to drive it home to his own mind, he lists some of them. A reminder can be good therapy, and that's what we have here in Psalm 103. It's a compelling list. And there are beautiful things that make this a favorite psalm. So let's spell them out as a memory aid. Here are some things the Lord has done that are worth remembering. The Lord forgives all your iniquity. The Lord heals all your diseases. The Lord redeems your life from the pit. The Lord crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. The Lord satisfies you with good as long as you live. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. The Lord made known his ways to Moses. Now there's a shift from here and now to the distant past. So don't remember only what the Lord has done for you lately, but remember also what the Lord did for the whole people long ago. Then he says, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. There's a shift here from what the Lord does to who the Lord is. And perhaps we can say that the Lord's good character is the foundation for all the benefits that are listed in Psalm 103. However you sort it out, we do need the reminder to jog our memory. When life is hard and all sorts of things are going wrong, we might start wondering, what is going on here? And even ask the question, what has the Lord ever done for me? In times like that, it's good to remind yourself of some of those benefits that the Lord has bestowed upon you. If you're a Christian, no matter what is going on at the moment, you can say to yourself, for you, Jesus Christ has entered this world. For you, he has died. And for you, he has been raised. That's what the Lord has done for you. In Jesus Christ, we see that the Lord truly is merciful and gracious. So whatever we do, however long this season endures, let's always be sure to tell ourselves, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Amen.